On a recent Sunday afternoon, Peter Blanchett performed with his 11-string arch guitar in the Divine Theater at Gateway City Arts. Simultaneously, vendors were set up in the large open space area, selling their wares to the public. Inside Judd's restaurant, folks were enjoying brunch with a Czechoslovakian American flair. This was the vibe that owners Lori Devine Hudson and Vitek Kruta had envisioned when they opened Gateway City Arts in 2016. I jokingly said, we build this place so people don't have any more excuses not to do anything. And I think we accomplished that before, before um, pandemic. Ultimately, the pandemic put a halt on all the momentum the two had built, and this cultural hub on Ray Street in Holyoke almost closed forever. At that time, we had 40 people on our payroll, a lot of locals, um, but we closed, and we stayed closed for 16 months. We were faced with should we, shouldn't we reopen? We had a huge outpouring when we said we were closing. I mean, people were like, no, you can't do that, that's our favorite place. It was, it was really heartwarming and it meant a lot to us. So we decided we would really try it again and try to make it work. When the two first saw this old mill building back in 2012, it still had some glimmers of its past as the Judd Paper Company. It has been a decade-long labor of love to transition this into what they call a Swiss army knife of arts and culture a place that inspires, educates, and animates those who want to explore their craft. The vision has evolved a lot over the years, from art and community work to music. Music became a big part of it. And then because we're in Holyoke, we needed this to be a destination. We got a liquor license. If we got the liquor license, it meant we had to have food. So then we started venturing into food and restaurants and it's evolved over the 10 years. This is some of my artwork that... Much of that um, evolution was done by Divine's partner, Vitek Kruta, a professional and, artist, art restorer, um, set designer, and teacher. He was trained in the old world techniques of fine and decorative arts in the Czech Republic and Germany. He says he was drawn to the architecture of Holyoke when he decided to move here. In Europe, where also every big city had uh, factories, and because it was the same time period, the buildings were actually the same architecture. They, they were the same aesthetics. And so moving to Holyoke, for me, it was like, well, I'm home again. I just love it here. The Divine Theater is dedicated to the memory of Lori's parents, Rita and Hal Divine. Both Lori and Vitek have each been involved in the arts in different ways, and the Divine Theater is a culmination of many of their interests and skills. As you can see, this is a little bit of the skills that I could utilize that I brought with me from Europe, um, designing the stage and uh, doing the four finishes and uh, murals. Um, so the aesthetic of this room is um, kind of uh, hoping to, to, uh, to get the feeling that when people come here, they would feel like it was always here. On the other side of the complex, past the art gallery and bistro, is the concert hall with a capacity of 500 people. Somewhere in the future, the couple imagines the various components of this multifaceted operation as independent, employee-owned enterprises. For now, though, it's one step at a time after being one step away from giving up. It's a wonderful place, and it's changed, and people need to give it a chance.